All right, welcome to Wild Gears How To Strange Shapes. Today we're going to talk about what the Strange Shapes gears are and how they work. Let's start with the square gear. You can see it says 72, and then down here in smaller numbers it's got 120 slash 24. All the Strange Shapes gears have three numbers on them. The big number, 72, is like the, all the other gears. It's the tooth count, which is useful for figuring out how many sides and lobes and petals your design will have. And so that's just the number of teeth. But a non-circular gear, all the strange shapes, are made of arc segments of a big circle and a little circle. So we've got uh, the sides of this square are made from a circle with 120 teeth. The corners of the circle are made from a circle with 24 teeth. And this has a big impact on what you can use this gear for. Because it's small, but it's made of a 120 tooth gear, so you can't really use it effectively in anything smaller than a 120 ring. For example, we've got a smaller ring here. This ring is 96. You can put the square gear inside of it, but it gets stuck because you're actually rolling the, the big side. It's too big. The sides it needs to be in 120 or bigger. That just doesn't work. Whereas if you have this ring, which is, where is my writing on it? 140, this ring, it goes inside it and the gears actually work nicely. They don't get stuck. Okay, so that's how you know what you can use these in. On the other hand, you can have a smaller square gear, like in this compact set. This says 40, 64 slash 16. That means that these sides are 64 circles, and these corners are parts of arc segments of 16 tooth circles. And focus, come on, focus, okay. That means that if you try and put any gear with 16 teeth or more in here, it will be too big for these corners, and it'll get stuck. So you can put like a 12, a 14, maybe a 16 in here if you're careful, but the closer you get to the corner number, the more likely it is to get stuck. So let's look at a couple more examples here. This is the big triangle that comes with the Strange Shapes gear set. It's 120 made of 180 over 60. So if you put it in a circle that is 180 or smaller, it'll get stuck. Okay, that's not quite right. If you put it in 180, it will be hard to use because it'll just go womp, womp. Um, that's not showing it off well. I'll make a later video showing that off. But bigger than 180 is easy, 180 is possible and hard, smaller than 180 won't work. Similarly, the negative space of this, which I don't have out because it's in a big sheet, can't take any gears bigger than a 60. Um, so that's squares and triangles. There are some pieces in the sets like this, which are a gear and a ring, and they have a few sets of numbers on them. The same criteria and guidelines apply for either piece. Um, there's some of these really strange lobed pieces or dog bones, depending on whether they've got three or four lobes. As you can see, this one says 126, 72 over 36. In this case, just look at it and see, there's a big circle piece and there's a little circle piece in that you can see the radius here is smaller. So this part is made of 36 teeth if it was a whole circle, and these parts are made of 72. So that means if you try and put anything bigger than a 72 gear through here, it'll get stuck. Um, similarly, in the negative space, if you're trying to use this piece as a ring and go around the inside, you'll run into problems here. So if you, you're going to have to go quite a bit smaller than 36 to roll it through this. Like, maybe try a 24. Um, and this piece, while I've put holes in two of the lobes for trying to roll it around, is going to be a rough go if you try and do that. So mostly, this is designed to be cut out and used as a ring. But, uh, you know, fortune favors the bold. Give it a shot. Here we've got a less extreme version of the lobed one, made with a... Uh, oh, this is one of my prototypes, so I've sharpied 90 onto it, because I forgot to engrave that. And it says 72 over 36 on it. So... Um, yeah, 
that's strange shapes as part of wild gears the compact gear set has a small square gear and a small triangular gear the full page gear set has a few more uh, strange shapes I th think they've got three the product listing will tell you if you really want to know and then to get more of these strange shapes there's a whole gear set of them the strange shapes gear set thank you and I hope that I've demystified the how to read these gears now and some of their use thank you have a good day